It's, hey, this is Matt Cox, and you know, I don't know why I do this. Hey, this is Matt Cox, and this is The Grind. I'm in Palm Beach, and last night I stayed at, oh, God, I already forgot it, um, at the uh, at Tideline Ocean Resort, which was really uh, pretty cool. You know, I should have videoed that. I actually got there at like 2.30 last night and went in and the, the counter was vacant. There was no clerk, nobody. And I luckily, Tommy had already checked me in, so I had my card. I went down to the, to the, um, to the restaurant, nobody there. I mean, well, I walk, this place is massive. It, it's, and uh, I went to the bar, nobody was there. There's all these, there's all these different areas. It was like a nice fucking hotel. So I go outside, it's on the beach. I can hear the ocean, nobody outside. And it was like a ghost town. It was amazing. I was like, this place is empty. I even texted you. I said, it's like I'm fucking got the whole place to myself. I wanted to come. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> so I, anyway, got in the elevator, went upstairs, went to my room. I've got video of it. I'll shoot. I think I just shot my room. I really should have shot that whole, it was creepy. It was so, it was so, it was cool, but it was super creepy. All right, so here is, here's my, let's see, what is this? Okay, shower. This is my hotel room. Nice, All right. Okay, let's see, here is, let's see. And there's the ocean. And here's me. I'm somewhere in Palm Beach. And I'm going to be doing a podcast with um, MSCS Media. And it's, I already did a podcast yesterday and I'm doing a, a few more today. And I'm going to get breakfast and then I'm gonna meet Tommy at the studio. But how cool and different is the setup there? Like the wood flooring? Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah, definitely. You know what I, my first thought was? Like, I, I wish Jess was here. Like she would, she would be like, she would be like, look. Panty drop. Oh around. man, this is fucking nice. It's, you know what it is? It's the kind of, see this is the kind of thing I shouldn't say because you're, you're not really supposed to cuss. Like somebody, everybody says like the first five minutes don't cuss because the algorithm doesn't like it. But the truth is, it's the kind of, like when I got to the hotel room, I was thinking, you know, my first thought was walk, this kind of hotel room you walk in and you think, you know, I, I can get laid in here. And it's the kind of place chicks walk into and they think I want to get laid in here. So, Let me tell you something. I was so happy to see this in the break room. Not quite enough. And we've got that. We've got a little bit of this. Also, I've been here, I've been doing videos all, or, uh, all day yesterday, and we're about to do a video on Frank Amadeo, and uh, it's insanity. I'm basically gonna go over the, all the documents that I have. Like a lot of guys, they get irritated, they're like, like they've watched other podcasts where I pull out documents like nobody gives a shit about the documents, but you, you have to understand the thing. I understand that one or two people are like that. And, and, and maybe, maybe overall everybody is like that, but you have to take into consideration my background. And as a result of that, I'm concerned that people know where I got the information, that the information is accurate, that you can certainly go and look up the information, you can go on public records, you can order the documents, everything is absolutely legit. And this is the real issue with like Frank Amadeo's story, is that it's so bizarre, it's so bizarre that you really need to see the documentation because it's, 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 it's nuts. I mean, he's meeting with President Bush. You understand the White House? It ain't a photo op. 
This guy's trying to invade other countries. He's trying to pull off a political coup in Africa. He's building an army. He's trying to buy jets. And, and so, so when you say things like that, it's so outlandish that I can see, like I wouldn't expect anyone to believe me. I would think that people would go, oh, that, he's full of shit, that's bullshit. And that didn't happen, that's crazy. Because the reason I think that is, it's such an amazing story and such an outlandish story that in my opinion, I don't know why it's not everywhere. I don't know why somebody hasn't put it together yet. And that I, I end up, I just ended up in federal prison with the guy and heard the story. And there's media out there about it, but it's a piece here. It's a piece here. Like nobody's actually um, weaved the story together in a, in a you know, with a, an overall arc. I'm all thrown off now. So my whole thing is this, is that I want to be able to show the documents and say, look, this is where I got this. This is where I got this. You know, the, this is how it all came together. This is what was going on in his story. And this is how it ultimately ended. And the amazing thing is like, I mean, there's a whole possible cover up. There's a whole possible, um, it, he may have been framed. He, he thinks he was framed by the Bush administration, which sounds insane to me. But then you start looking into it and you go, you know, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Once you really start looking into it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, I'm so I'm here and I wanted to do a quick vlog and see if I could get get a vlog done and I, I don't like I literally I don't have like my, a mic where I'm I'm talking loud so that the camera picks it up and you know listen I'm just trying to pull something together real quick and see how, what's going on but I'm going to take the camera right now and I'm going to go and show some of the some of the stuff that that I'm doing. So okay, so this is this this is like the this is like one of the, the, the rooms here. Like, I mean, literally, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to go over like this. This is, uh, this is an FBI uh, 302 that says that essentially the FBI has put, uh, put several, put a couple agents on Amado's case that he's politically connected. Um, I think it says he's politically connected, that he's hired IRS agents, Secret Service agents, um, to work for him. He's a disbarred lawyer. He has over 70, compa uh, 70 companies and, um, and he's, he's was like, he was committing major fraud and is involved in a scheme that involves millions of dollars. Okay. And that they've, they begin subpoenaing documents from his company. This is a tactical investigation. Uh, this is actually how they ended up a report where they were pitching the uh, their the political candidate that they backed in the Congo, um, like all, all of this. This, this is the uh, his um, evaluation of capacity. Basically, this is the mental evaluation of Amadeo that the um, federal government commissioned for all these people to interview him and then put together a report. And listen, at the end of the report, they were like, you know, he's mentally unstable. He thinks he's going to be emperor of the world. I mean, it, it's. Like, it's all in here. Like, you know, look, emperor of the world. Um, look, he believes he's basically he's going to be emperor of the world, emperor of the world. I mean, it's just over and over again where, you know, he's, you know, this is what he believes. And, and I've got, then I've got all of this, these documents. We're talking about this, the doctor, the psychiatrist, you know, he's a board certified psychiatrist. And he says that he's bipolar and he goes over it and that he put, um, that Amadeo believed that nothing was uh, would impede his march to world domination. So keep in mind, this is a guy who, who's massively successful too. That's what's that's what's so nuts is like. So that's what's crazy about it is that he's massively successful. Like he was a lawyer. He owned all these companies. He's in the middle of doing it anyway. And that's what. So let's see. Yeah, look. I mean, there's just all kinds. Of, I mean, I've got just. There's just. I got just tons of documents. I got I got affidavits of people saying that what he was doing was legal. So everybody that is, I've got all these affidavits that say that what Amadeo was doing was was legal, and yet he ends up getting he ends up getting charged by the U.S. attorney for something that basically was legal. So. 
they, they, they basically charge him. They're just trying to get him out of the way. You, you, you'd have to read the whole book. But anyway, so, yeah, so, and then this is a, you know, I've got, look, I've got transcripts. This is days worth of transcripts. These are different transcripts for different days. I mean, bro, I got, I got a fucking ton of stuff here. Another uh, declaration. This is, I actually had to kind of go through the, um, go through like this uh, medical book and really look into it and figure out exactly what you called him. And I mean, he said it and the, the evaluation said it, but I wanted to see it myself and read all the different aspects and get the actual, get the, get the actual, um, the verbiage down to see exactly how you describe these guys, like what they're basically be able to get a little bit more knowledgeable on his, on his mental condition. So anyway, so I got all, so I'm going to go over all these, all these documents today and that's what we're about to do. And so now I'm going to close. So this is, that's Tommy. Okay. This is Tommy's like setup. Look, he's got a big screen TV thing. Got this. I don't know what that is. That's some, something to, it's a statue of a guy that he thinks looks kind of like a like his lawyer or something. He thinks it's funny. So it makes him laugh. So he likes it and that's fine. Good. Good. I have all kinds of stuff around here. Subscribe to MSCS Media. Oh shit, the battery's going dead. Okay, so real quick. So I appreciate it. This is uh this is it. Okay. So, so the battery went dead when I was wrapping it up and it just started blinking and then it went dead. So I think it was pretty much probably dead when I really put the battery in. Do me a favor and subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, leave a comment, watch the video twice, including all of the commercials, send it to five of your friends and ask them to send it to five of their friends. Buy some merchandise. I have books. I have the Frank Amadeo book, which is available on Amazon right now. And I will put the link in the description. That's it, bro. See ya.